hi guys welcome back to my channel it's a girl precious Oelike. i'm a nigerian youtuber i film about faith my faith in christ relationship business tips and lifestyle please before i go into today's video please don't forget to like share and subscribe please do the needful thank you don't just watch the video because i realized that more than 45 percent of people that watch my videos don't subscribe so please it is still a large number large number please subscribe to my channel help my channel go share reference refer my youtube channel to people to watch great videos and they should also and please do also also engage make comments share to friends share to loved ones you know just to go to repel tv family thank you so without further ado let's jump right into today's video in the course you know today i want to talk about something that is really really affecting this generation affecting the future of this of this of the world at large not just africa the world at large this statement do you the world we are just hmm hmm that statement has brought so much calamity upon humanity the statement do you oh just do you not somebody cares do you everybody will come to terms with it that's what brought about lesbianism and gay this statement do you everybody we are just oh do you is there nothing bad in having the same sex do you nothing bad in marrying an animal as long as you love that animal do you nothing bad in marrying a non-living thing as long as you love that non-living thing do you nothing bad in wearing crazy crazy jeans and exposing your cleavage exposing your body do you nothing bad in sagging and bringing your shoulder down that's making you look like a rascal say do all those statements do you the world we are just let us the points that we are now and the thing is many of us are not sitting out to ask ourselves these things like where do all these things originate from like even in the church you may hear, do you ah ha ha please if i've been told that statement to you the world we are just please go and reframe your mind and change your mind in those in, in our kingdom in the kingdom of god we don't do you we do the world let me say that again in the kingdom of god we don't do you we don't do me we do the world we do the scripture anything you want to do as long as it have align with the scripture doesn't align with the word of God. We don't do it. Because the scripture did not tell us to do you. Because the scripture tells us to do you, then there's no point for God coming, for God sending the Son, Jesus. Because you cannot be like, oh, all you men do you. That's it. Because this statement do you has led to so much indiscipline, so much um misconception has led to immorality sexual rubbish in the world has led to lack of honor in the world that someone can't show respect or regard to an elder because you feel it is not fashionable as like for example i'm a yoruba lady and in yoruba culture when you see an elderly person you kneel down or you prostrate or you use ma and there's a way you talk to them just to show a sign of respect in the way you're talking there's a manner of way you talk to an elderly person and so many young people these days are like i don't care in the american world that's like bro kinikon that's like star kinikon if i speak like that too i was wondering, I was like please we say bro and sister remove any skin anything for my skin i said no i said then what's the problem go ahead please Everybody, the, everybody we see, we demand respect. Even the child also deserves respect. And I want to give that child respect. Please, please and please. In the kingdom of God, don't do you, we do the world. Anything you want to do that doesn't align with the scripture, that doesn't align with God, don't do it. And God says, don't allow what you will lead your fellow brother to sin. Please, nah. Everything should be done with moderacy. Moderacy, that's what the scripture says. Everything should be done with moderacy. So the scripture says to me should be, should be done with moderacy. So that means that showing up cleavages is wrong. I don't do photo shoots. Expose their skin. Ah, I feel better to see people. Someone like me. Ah, ah. I feel I feel naked when I try to do that. I feel I can't even do it. I can't. I couldn't can. It's not possible. <laughs> You get what I mean? So please, you know that thing has led to so much indiscipline. Where there's nothing like our culture, the culture that 
has raised up so many great adults. And I'm like, oh, my parents are too rigid, they're too cultural, they're too cultural, they're too local. Please, that locality and that culture that they have is what made them to get to where they are today because many youth these days have zero attitude, zero character. They, they, their level of intellectual capacity is low because those things they spend their time doing is staying on social media and not getting any form of information to their brain. And they say that using the social media to good use, they are not. Because the scripture did not tell me to be rude to my parents. The scripture did not tell me to be rude to elderly people around. The scripture did not tell me to dress and expose my body and you as a guy to be learning after ladies or as a lady to be learning after guys. It is not, it is not, it is not scripture. It is not scriptural. I think again that is so, so condescending that it's happening now is when people are like, oh, do you? That do you also led to an increase in baby mamas and baby baby fathers, baby daddies. Baby mamas are like, what's there? That's the that's how it's trending now. That's the rubbish that is trending now. Baby mamas is trending, baby daddies is trending because they see some celebrities do it, they feel they can. And the celebrity doing it, go and ask them. Go and ask them. Maybe they will be regretting that step. They just can't share it. Because it's not easy. Having so many women around becoming your children, it is not easy. It is not. Because it is always good a child grow under the umbrella of both the father and the mother to have to raise up a balanced child and not just under the father or under the mother. So please, please and please, don't have the devil. The devil is trying to play something with us. Play, play, do something. And that's the thing do you is it, it's not it's it's just my yes, it might be like, oh, I'm free, what's there? I'm to expect myself anyhow. So I'm a lady and I feel like dressing like a guy. I feel it's normal. If you like just like a guy, you are still a female. If you are a guy, you feel like oh you want to expose yourself in life because you are still a guy, you are a man, you are a man. Then also I can change that facts. You are a man. Uh, if you like go and do um, surgery and do transgender rubbish. You are still a man. Me like, and I, 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 I've been noticing when I was young, I don't feel comfortable in this gender. So I want to switch on that gender. Let me shock you. That gender that, that you were born with, that is your gender for life. That is your gender. If you like, you're a female, you change to, hey, you're even filling forms now. When you get to sex, they put male, female, or others. I'm like, I am proud to be a female anytime. See, I can never change to male. I can never be by. I am one and I love it like that. I have come to terms with me being a female and I love it like that. So please and please, the scripture did not give me, the, 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 did not permit me to, to, to say I want to change my sex and be like, oh, I want to be a male, I want to be a man, I want to, I, want to, I, want to, I, only, I only date my same sex, and I only marry my same sex. Ah, please, the scripture did not permit us that. That's one of the reasons why Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed, if you remember. So now I was destroyed because of this sexual immorality, perversion, so much deadness and darkness in that city. It was bonds. Fire came down and consumed them. So please, we don't want the same thing repeating our time. So please, the did not say, do, the, do you. Do you is not permitted in the kingdom of God. It is do the word. It's whatever I'm doing. Does that lie in the scripture? Is this publicly acceptable? Is this thing, is it morally sound? Can be like, and what is it morally sound? Ask yourself these questions so that we can produce better children and produce better adults in the next generation. So please and please don't do you do the world. If you enjoyed my video to this point, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and share to your friends. Anybody that be trying to tell you that trying to talk to that, oh, don't do you do the world, please. Take the videos to them. We need to raise up better youth and better children in our society. I'll see you guys in my next video.